Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be making minced penne pasta with a delicious tomato based sauce. This pasta dish tastes like it's been cooking low and slow for a very long time, but it's ready in just 30 minutes. And it's perfect for those hectic weekly nights where you don't feel like cooking anything. Also, it tastes even better the next day. So if you guys wanna learn how to make this dish, stick around, cause I'm about to show you. Let's get started with our ingredients. For this recipe, you will need penne pasta shells, diced onion, tinned tomato, lamb mince, olive oil, tomato puree, garlic, green chili, haldi, cumin seeds, smoked chili flakes, smoked paprika, rosemary, barbecue spice, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, sea salt, black pepper, and my absolute favorite, aramid. These are all the ingredients we're gonna need for this recipe. Now let's get cooking. First, you wanna make sure that your mince has thawed all the way through. What I like to do is buy mine on the day that I cook it, or if frozen, let it thaw inside the fridge overnight. Now take a non-stick medium pan. If you don't have one, you can use any pot you like. Just be careful not to burn anything. To that, you're gonna add some olive oil. And once the oil is hot enough, add in your chopped onion and one teaspoon of cumin seeds. Let that cook until the onion is translucent. Then add your garlic and cook until fragrant. Now you're gonna add one teaspoon of haldi and stir for a few seconds. To that, quickly add your tomato puree to prevent the haldi from burning. Let this cook on medium low heat for about three and a half minutes. By the way guys, this recipe was actually inspired by my sister who's a pasta fanatic and as per usual, I just took it and Indianized it. But it's always a winner in our family. So thank you sis for this great recipe idea. Back to cooking. Now you're gonna add green chili and cook for one more minute. Add the mince and start breaking it up into smaller pieces and let this fry for about six to seven minutes. Then add all your spices. By the way, all the spice measurements I've used I've linked in the description box below. Mix well and let the mince fry for 10 more minutes to infuse well with all the spices. Add your tinned tomatoes. I've used the Woolworths tinned tomatoes because it works perfectly for this recipe. You can also use two grated tomatoes if that's all you have. Now close your lid and let this cook until the mince is almost done and set aside. To another saucepan, add boiling water, a splash of olive oil and a generous amount of salt. To that you're going to add your pasta shells and be sure to stir it every now and again to prevent it from sticking to each other. Once the pasta is nice and al dente, remove from heat and drain the water. Stir the pasta into the mince and coat evenly. Close lid and cook for about 10 more minutes on medium low heat just until the mince and pasta have infused well. Just don't overcook your pasta guys. If you want to impress your guests, you can serve this with parsley and parmesan cheese and a side of cheesy ciabatta toast, but it tastes just as divine without it. And now for my favorite part, the taste test. Mm. This is so good, you guys. The mince is packed with so much flavor. Well, the pasta shells are still nice and al dente. You guys have to try this recipe and let me know what you guys think. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Also, like and comment on the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts are and what you would like to see me cook next. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.